Now we have here is our resident Bass Pro Fisherman. He's been all over the place, Africa, Iraq, all over the states. Caught many a fair, fair share of fish. Now what, are you, what do you have tips for our anglers out here today on this tournament? Well, what most of these boys are going to have to get past is they're going to have to get past the, the notion that they're fishing for normal North American fish because they ain't. Right. <laughs> We're here in Iraq. So you have to stop thinking like American fish and you got to start thinking like Iraqi fish. Hard, cutthroat, don't eat a lot. Don't eat much, uh, which is going to play havoc on their bait choice, I'd say. And uh, also, something <laughs> else they're going to have to keep in mind, uh, uh, fishborne IEDs. Now, <laughs> now, that's something I think that the uh, uh, the American policymakers back home and DOD has overlooked, is the uh, threat of fishborne <laughs> IEDs. Now, uh, what we have over here, now see these gentlemen right here, all these boys, these boys are just here fishing. They're here, they're part of the uh, first uh, first uh, inaugural uh, Iraqi fishing tournament. But this gentleman way down here at the far end, <laughs> he's actually working. He ain't fishing. He ain't out here enjoying himself. He's out there trying to catch that elusive fishborne IED <laughs> before they make it into the dam. Just cause havoc with these poor people who live here. Let's see. Now, what what do you have thoughts on uh, the? Uh, Anti-coalition uh, fish out here. I tell you what, I hate the sons of bitches. They're they're just uh, they're they're hard to catch. I'll tell you, I'll give them that. They're they're slippery. Even for fish, they're slippery. <laughs> I mean, I mean these sons of bitches, they they won't. I mean, we're out here using Berkeley power bait, and I don't know of a better bait. Uh, personally, I don't know of anything better than Berkeley power bait. But uh, I mean these these sons of bitches, they just. I mean, as you can see, they won't bite. They just will not bite on this power bait. These guys have been casting for, I don't know, God, no, God knows how long they've been trying to just get a bite. And I don't believe we've got a bite yet. Even our poor uh, devil dog down there trying to catch that IED fish, ain't he ain't, He just can't get a bite. These, they're, I mean, they're clever fish. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people say the Iraqi people and the Iraqi fish are stupid. I would disagree. I would say that they are, uh, I wouldn't say that they're intellectual type people. Or fish, but they are definitely cunning. They are cunning and they are crafty and they are hard to catch. Damn insurgent fish. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, now, what do you think about the uh, policy of uh, catch and release? It's the dumbest damn thing I've ever heard. Catch and release? Catch and release. That's just stupid. Let me tell you why. You get, you finally do manage to get one of these slippery ass sons of bitch and fishborne IEDs to bite on your damn hook, you get him reeled back in, you take the explosives off of him, and what you go you're gonna let him back go? All he's gonna go all he's gonna do is go back down river to his damn uh, underwater cachet of explosives <laughs> and he's gonna mount back up and come right the hell back. Catch and release, God almighty. It's, it's enough to really just piss a man off. Out here trying his damn just to to stop the the flow of insurgency into the dam here. The damn damn over here. I just, you, I mean, you do the best you can, and then they come up with some dumbass policy like catch and release. God damn, catch and release. Stupid. Well, there you go, folks. Heard it straight from a Marine. Marine's Marine. Marine angler. Catch and release. We gotta get some new policy back in the hill.